بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ ویلکم ٹو یور چینل دی اینٹمی کینوس ان ٹو ڈیز کلاس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی سلائڈز فار دا آسپی آف دی بلاک بی سو دی سلائڈز انکلوڈ دا سلائڈز فرام دی کارٹی لیج فرام دا بون فرام دا مسلز سو دیز آر دا ڈفرینٹ کنیکٹیو ٹو اسپیشلائز ٹائپ آف دا کنیکٹیو ٹیشو وچ آر گوئنگ ٹو کور ان ٹو ڈیز کلاس So first have a look on this slide. This is the slide for the skeletal muscle. These are the longitudinal uh, sections of the skeletal muscles and these are the cross section of the long, uh, uh, skeletal muscles. So in this longitudinal section you can so first point you should uh, note that the diameter of all the fibers they are uh, in the longitudinal section they are equal. Even in the cross section you can see the diameter of all the fibers are almost same. Second point you must remember that the nuclei are present at the periphery of the skeletal muscles and this is a point in which uh, you can differentiate it from the cardiac muscle in which a nuclei are present in the center so in cases of the skeletal muscle you can also notice over here these nuclei are present at the periphery and these are the striated muscles the longitudinal section and the cross section of the skeletal muscle the same slide at higher magnification this is the longitudinal section of the skeletal muscle in which very clearly you can see the cross striations which are present the both the light bands and the dark bands formed by the actin and myosin filaments are present so this is a first identification point for you people in this slide is that they are striated then you have to differentiate whether it is uh, cardiac or it is skeletal so no, please look at the um, position of the nuclei these all the nuclei are present at the periphery uh, and this is another identification point for the skeletal muscle another uh, slide with the trichrome stain mesen trichrome stain in which you can see these are the longitudinal muscle longitudinal sections of the skeletal muscle and these are the cross section of the skeletal muscle in between the uh, this section the adipose tissue is present so in this uh, section you can see the these are the longitudinally running fibers of the skeletal muscles all having the same diameter and also in the cross section you can see the diameter of the cell is almost equal the nuclei are present at the corners of the um, skeletal muscle fiber and in the cross section even you can see the cut a striated appearance in this section as well which shows the cut edges of the actin and the myosin filaments same slide at higher magnification in which you can see again longitudinal uh, section of the skeletal muscle and the cross sections of the skeletal muscle so uh, also notice the position of the nuclei which are present at the periphery in between uh, uh, these skeletal muscle fibers you can also see small amount of the connective tissue is also present so this is another slide and you have to differentiate this slide from the skeletal muscle because first point you should notice that the very clearly intercalated discs are present in all of the section you can see the intercalated discs are present second point you should notice that these are the branching fiber unlike skeletal muscle fiber which were straight running fibers so in this slide you can see they branch and then they fuse and then they again branch so there is a branching first identification point second large number of the intercalated discs are present and third you can even notice at this magnification that the nuclei are present in the center of the um, muscle fiber so this is the slide for the cardiac muscle your identification point for these slides are that it is a striated and striation you can say at high magnification in this section you can only see the intercalated discs which are present the branching pattern of the skeletal Uh, sorry cardiac muscle fibers and centrally placed nuclei same slide at further higher magnification to show you the position of the nuclei which are present in the center of the sarcomere in the uh, uh, cardiac muscle fibers so in all these you can notice the nuclei which are present at the center and this is the connective tissue which is present in between these skeletal muscle fibers and these areas are the intercalated discs 
Another slide uh, to lower magnification, this is the slide of the uh, smooth muscle cells and these smooth muscle cells are running in different direction. At some point you can see the longitudinal section of smooth muscle, at other points you can see the cross section of the smooth muscle and at certain points you can see the oblique section. So the slide may be taken some globular type of the organ like the uterus in which the skeletal, uh, smooth muscle cells are running in different direction. So so now have a look at the higher magnification of this slide. So here you can see these smooth muscle uh, cells which are running in the longitudinal direction in the longitudinal section. They are uh, elliptical fusiform nucleus which is present in the center and periphery and at the periphery you can see the tapering edges also present. These are all the uh, longitudinal section of the smooth muscle cells. In this slide you can see all of the longitudinal section. Here you can see the cut section of the smooth muscle cells. In this area also you can see the cross section of the smooth muscle cells. So this is the slide for the smooth muscle cells. Again, another slide for the smooth muscle here, you can see the longitudinal section of the smooth muscle and in this area you can see the cross section of the smooth muscle. So you know the smooth muscle cells have the centrally placed nuclei, they are non-striated. Their nucleus is centrally placed and center area. It is a fuse, you know, the basically cell is a fusy form in shape which is more thicker in the center and thin tapering edges and at the cross section it is the reason that you can see the um, different diameter of the fiber, some fibers are smaller, some fiber are larger depending upon from where the section is taken and even at some of the areas you can see the uh, cells are nucleated um, at the site where the section is taken from the center of the cell while at other location when it is um, section is taken at the tapering ends you cannot see the nuclei in the section. So this all is the cross section of this smooth muscle cell and this is the longitudinal section of the smooth muscle cell. Here you can see also the connective tissue also present and smaller capillaries are present in this connective tissue. This is the slide for the uh, cartilage and in this slide first uh, notice that the at on the label area A is the perichondrium and this A is the outer uh, acellular or fibrous layer of the perichondrium. The area labeled as B is also inner cellular layer of the perichondrium which is the replicative zone of the uh, cartilage where cells usually present they resemble just like the fibroblast but they can actively grow and divide and can form the cartilage matrix. So this is the slide at lower magnification in which you can see even at this magnification that the cells um, chondrocytes are present in the form of the homogeneous groups. So now we uh, see the same slide at higher magnification. This is same slide at higher magnification from this area to this area this is all is the uh, perichondrium. This area which is labeled as A is outer fibrous layer of the perichondrium. A area which is labeled as B is the inner um, cellular layer of the perichondrium where you can see the chondrocytes which are present they resemble just like the fibroblast. This is the cartilage matrix in which you can see different chondrocytes which are present in their lacuna even at this side you can see the cell which is present in the center which is formed by the lacuni and the outer to this is the territorial matrix which is darker in color and interterritorial matrix which is lighter in color. So this is the slide for the hyaline cartilage. Again the same slide at further higher magnification to show you the chondrocyte which is present in its lacunae and this is the lacunar space and this covering darker color, dark blue color area is actually the cartilage matrix which is secreted by this chondrocyte and it is highly concentrated that's why it gives a dark stain with the hematoxylene and this is called the territorial matrix. The matrix which is present in between the chondrocyte is called the interterritorial matrix which is lighter in color. This territorial matrix is sometimes uh, called a capsule by some histologist as well. So this is another beautiful slide of the uh, cartilage that is taken at the area of the endochondral ossification. 
so please remember this slide is present in your lab and it may be one of the slide in your OSP as well so have a look at this slide first this is the area of the reserved cartilage hyaline cartilage which is present as area of the reserved cartilage then this is the area of the proliferation then the area of the hypertrophy where cells are hypertrophy then this is the area of the calcification of the cartilage you can see when the cartilage cells are calcified the chondrocytes which are present inside the lacuni they died and the lacuni then appears as empty so this is the area of the calcified cartilage then the area of the resorption takes place in which the dead chondrocytes are absorbed and the bone matrix is laid down so this is the area where the newly bone is formed is present and this is the lining osteoid matrix which is formed by the osteoblast so again i repeat this is the slide for endochondral ossification this is the area of the reserve hyaline cartilage this is the area of the replication then the area of the hypertrophy then the area of the calcification then the area of resorption and then the area of the bone formation so these are the different areas which are present in the slide of endochondral ossification again another slide and this is taken at the low magnification and this is the slide of the <coughs> this is the slide for the elastic cartilage and for a hinge you people you should also understand that here the keratinized epithelium and you must remember that this keratinized epithelium is present in the pinna of the ear and pinna of ear contain elastic cartilage so this is a clue for you people a trick to understand this slide now let us discuss the histology so in histology this is the resource seen fuchsin stained slide of the elastic cartilage in which you can see the fibers which are stained bluish black with the resource in fuchsin stain now look at this slide at high magnification so the same slide at higher magnification this is again a resource in fuchsin stain section in which the fibers which are uh, elastic from in addition to uh, the collagen fiber large number of elastic fibers are present and these elastic fiber stain bluish black with this stain so in this slide you can see these are the elastic fibers which are present and these are the chondrocytes of the elastic cartilage these are outer area is the perichondrium and this is the cartilage matrix again the same slide at further higher magnification to show you the elastic fibers these all are the fibers which are elastic in nature and they stain bluish black with a resource in fuchsin stain these are the um, uh, chondrocytes which are present in their lacuni this is the cell of the chondrocyte and this is the space called the lacuni and outer to lacuni you can see the territorial matrix which is also present this is the h and e stain section of the uh, slide the elastic cartilage again in which you can see the uh, elastic fibers which are present this is the perichondrium this is the cartilage matrix and in this you can see even another identification point you can see that the cells in the elastic cartilage they are not present as homogeneous group as they are present in the hyaline cartilage so this point also helped you to identify this slide as well the same slide at high magnification again you can see large number of the elastic fibers which are present and either one or two cell group of the chondrocytes which are present in this area so this is the slide for the fibrocartilage so please remember most of the student confused that it is fibrous no it is not fibrous it is actually the fibrocartilage and fibrocartilage considered as a transition between the cartilage and the um, dense regular connective tissue so in this you can see uh, the chondrocytes they resemble just like fibroblast and they are present in the form of the rows in between the regularly arranged fibers of the um, collagen uh, regularly arranged collagen fibers so this is the fibrocartilage commonest example is the symphysis pubis 
this is the higher magnification of the fibrocartilage in which you can see the uh, cartilage cells which are present in the form of the rows in between the spaces which are formed by the uh, dense regular connective tissue so these are present in the form of the rows these point help you to identify the slide and also remember these cells resemble fibroblasts because they are smaller in size and they are present in the dense regular connective tissue so this is the fibrocartilage another very beautiful slide from your histology lab these are the bony spicules which are present irregular bony spicules are bony plates which are present and in the bony plates you can see the osteocytes in present in their lacunae also at the edges you can see at the borders you can see the osteoblasts which are present which are forming the bone cell so this is the slide for the spongy bone so remember the identification for point for the spongy bone is irregularly shaped bony plates and in between bony plates you can see the large amount of the bone marrow which is also present outer to this is the part of the compact bone so the same slide at the higher magnification from your lab this is the special stain in which you can see irregularly shaped bony plates which are present this is again the slide of the spongy bone another slide from your lab uh, these are irregular bony plates which are present and in between these bony plates uh, there is the marrow uh, bone marrow which is present which contain rbcs at different stages of the hemopoiesis so this is again another slide for the spongy bone this is the slide for the compact bone it's a dried and crushed uh, section and in it in its uh, dried section you can well identify the cell uh, the architectural details of the compact bone but to see the structural detail of the cell it has to be uh, stained so in this section you cannot see the cell but the architectural details are well evident so this is one of the osteon and in this osteon in the center you can see osteonal or haversian canal which is present these are the uh, spaces in which osteocytes were present in life these are the lacunar spaces and these all are the circumferential lamellae and in between this osteon where the lamellae are present of the dying uh, osteons these are called the interstitial lamellae so this is the section of the dry bone then we take a section of the uh, bone and stain it with the hematoxylin and eosin so then we can look at the cellular detail of the compact bone as well so this is the section of again of the compact bone but it is a stain with h and e staining uh, hematoxylin and eosin so in this you, you can see the osteocytes which are present in their lacunae and the osteon which is in process of formation here you can see another osteon which is being formed and in the center of the osteon you can see osteonal canal this is another osteonal canal this is another osteonal canal which is present and this is the walkman canal the identification point to differentiate the walkman canal from the osteonal canal is that osteonal canal is present in the center while walkman canal is present obliquely because it contains um, it uh, connects the two different osteons with each other this is the area where the part of the endochondral ossification is taking place and in which this is the area of the resorption of the cartilage where the bone formation is now taking place this is another slide from your histology lab and in this again this is the dry bone in which you can see the osteon which is forming and in the center of the osteon you can see haversian or osteonal canal these are the circumferential lamellae this is another osteon this is another osteon this is another osteon and this one is the wokman's canal so here i complete my today's class uh, for the slides of the block b in which you have seen the slides of the bone the cartilage and the muscle here i must say special thanks to shan who helped me to take pictures of the slide from microscope 
and to prepare this lecture thank you all dear students for your attention allah hafiz